Hi everyone, it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations.blogspot.com, and um, I am working with the later skater close to my heart collection. We're going to make an envelope album, um, really nice little brag book that we can do. Um, the cool part is is that these are the colors for the Seattle Mariners, so I'm really excited to be using those. Um, we have multiple pro pieces that we're working with, but we are working with the Workshop on the Go collection. We're not going to actually make the layouts right this minute, but we are going to use the paper to do the collection. All right, so there's this really cool diamond, um, that's that diamond hard pattern thing that you see on pickup trucks. So there's this piece, and it's very distressed. You can see there's lots of distressing around, and on the back is a nice plaid. And then we have a, another pattern that's kind of more denim -y. It's got a denim -y kind of uh, pattern to it. But again, it's all distressed along the edges. And then here you can see the actual zip strip on this one. And on the back, it's gears. Really nice collection. And then this one has um, the really nice, Again, just boy kind of dirt, grime. These look like they should be mixed media stuff. And that um, it's got little footprints on the zip strip. And on the back side, it's got skeletons. And it says, awesome, adventure, discover, daring, um, skate, wonder, rough, boys. Some really cute paper. Really, really cute paper. It comes with um, two sheets of each of those and two additional sheets of white cardstock. And then it also comes with, I want to make sure I get the right colors to you. This green is pear, and that, it's a really bright green, and it's kind of yellow looking on my screen. Um, this is whisper. and it's more of a grayish brown. We have slate, which is more of a grayish brown. And then we have outdoor denim, which is one of my favorite colors. Okay, so those are the papers that we're gonna start with. I also have a package of um, five folded note cards and lined envelopes. Um, our local art supply store was selling these for $1.99 for five and five. So I figured I would use those. Um, so we need two envelopes, and I'm going to use two cards. And then um, I'm going to show you what to do in case you don't want to use the cards for the center pieces. Okay. So we'll add an additional piece, you are going to need a, an additional piece of black cardstock or cardstock that's going to match your um, whatever it is that you're using for your envelopes, whatever color your envelopes are, you're going to want a piece of cardstock that matches that. So I have an additional piece of black. Hi, Christy or Kathy. All right. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and prep our envelopes. So we've got the two envelopes. And what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and put them together. So we're going to put one inside each other. And we are going to leave, oh, what did I decide? This one has about... about a half an inch in between the two pieces. So I'm going to stick my envelopes together. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. And then I'm just really going to move this out just a touch what I really want it to be well let's see this way is 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need this to be nine and a half inches. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull it out to nine and a half, leaving it lined up. I'm going to go ahead and fold back my piece here. And I'm going to grab my tape. And I'm going to run it along the lines here. I'm just going to try and make it as straight as I possibly can. Okay? So I've got nine and a half all the way across. Now, where this one folds here, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and recrease that fold. Okay? We're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side where the envelope folded. And that's going to give us our binding piece. So as you can see, now we have kind of a, a piece. Oh, you're welcome. I felt so bad that they sat here forever. <laughs> All right, so this is basically the base of our book. <laughs> so that was so difficult, right? Okay. So we're just <laughs> all right so basically we've got this cute little book now what we're going to do is we're going to build the inside pieces so as you can see the cool part about this is when you open it up it lays flat and the way that it does that is this all comes out. <laughs> you guys see that? It pulls right out of the envelopes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So what we need to do now is take our black piece of paper that's going to provide the accordion fold for us. And we need to cut it down so that it fits nicely inside our, our envelopes, which are... Two, three, four, five, six, and a quarter. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to cut this at six. Let's do six inches because that will give us two pieces if we need to. One. And this is non-close to my heart paper, and I know that because it's got a strip on it. All right. So the first piece we're going to need is going to be at least one, two, three, four and a half is the first envelope. So we can go to four and a half. So we're going to go to four inches. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And the first score we're going to score at four inches. Okay. And then in order to get our pieces here, I have to remember how big to cut to do those. We're going to score at a half an inch and that's one, two, okay. So then we're going to score at four and a half and at five. So that's going to give us 
a peak for our page. There's one. I did this book so long ago. Okay. There's one at five and a half and at six. So that comes up. There's two pages. So I think I did three in here. One, two, three. Yep. At six and a half and at seven. So this piece that is 12 inches by four, by six inches, six by twist, six by 12. We're going to score at four inches, at four and a half, at five, and at five and a half, at six, at six and a half, and at seven. And then we're going to go over four inches. One, two, three, four. So we only needed an 11 inch piece. Okay. So you need a six by 11 inch piece. You're going to score at four. You're going to score at four and a half, at five, at five and a half, at six, at six and a half, and at seven. And we're going to cut this piece off at the end. Okay? You guys are like, really? She's speedy and she's doing good things. All right. And we're going to cut this extra inch off here because my piece is 12 inches long. Okay, you guys there? You know what else I got and I forgot to show you? Um, you guys saw my t-shirt, the t-shirt for the group and that. You guys saw those. I Did I show you the bracelets last week? No, I didn't show you anything last week because I was at city council. With Mr. H, I did post a link so you guys could have seen Harrison speak at City Council. His teachers were like, oh my gosh, he got up there and spoke. They would have been terrified. I'm like, really? They're just a bunch of people we elect. Um, but the um, what I have to share tonight was um, our group is working with a local bakery. And I know I've shown these on my Facebook. So anybody who's been on my Facebook has seen them, I'm sure. And that, but I have. Oh, okay. I'll have to send it to you, Bonnie. I have the Autism Awareness Cookies. They're so pretty. The book is four by six and something. <laughs> the finished book is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six and three eighths. They are yummy. By one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. So. Oh, yay! I had so much fun hanging out at the Isaac Foundation stuff the other day. It was so cool. Am I selling what? The cookies? No, the local bakery is selling the cookies. They're also like five bucks a pop. Because um, the, the, uh, the person is the bakery, Sweet Frostings, they are um, normally sell their cookies like this for about three bucks, but because these are going, we actually are getting a percentage of them. So they are really, really pretty and they are very yummy. So, but no, I'm not peddling them tonight. Oh, you eat them. We keep going back. I'm sure that the donation we're going to give them is mostly my money. <laughs> Too funny. 
All right. So one of the things that I do before we get too far into this is I'm going to fold these back because this really becomes a pretty sturdy book. And we're going to just make sure that this all dry fits in there. Okay? I love my nails. Aren't they so pretty? Yeah, they do match the cookies. They match the autism stuff I've been doing for a week, for two weeks. All right, so there you go, guys. See, this little piece right here becomes the pages. And because this all moves, it's going to lay flat. So these will all lay flat as you turn them. Because this only gets, um, we're only going to glue these pieces together. So we know that it fits. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our score tape. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's the new thing. I'm sure I saw this somewhere. I'm just not really sure where I saw it. So I don't know who to give credit to. So I, you know, I've made this a few different times. It's an old, old thing that I saw once upon a time. So I've perfected it to be mine. So, you know, kind of changed and did and stuff. So. Okay. So I'm just gluing down the flap so that we're going to end up with flaps. I used a 6 by 11 piece of cardstock in order to make this centerpiece. And this is just two envelopes. But you can do that with any of these pieces. You just have an 11 inch piece. <laughs> and again, we're just, there's our second flap. How did your Boy Scout fundraiser thing go, Christine? Did it go well? And you know we still have prizes if we get to seven if we get to 75, right? Still got goodies to give away. We can get to 75 viewers. <clears throat> All right, guys. So then what we've got is this three little Things that stick up in the middle. Okay. Oh, awesome. That is so good. Hopefully they didn't make too much of a mess. All right. So, this is the construction of our book, pretty much. Now, I'm going to use, I don't think so. I'm going to use um, two of my cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this into a pullout. So I'm only gonna glue down the side, the ends here, so that we can actually make this a pocket to stick something in, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and line each of our fins here with, actually, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do both sides of my card because the fins are a little bigger than my card. <laughs> Lucinda, Lucinda, your son should be going to Boy Scouts. You shouldn't be a Cub Scout leader. <laughs> That's too funny, though. My kids got one more year. One more year of um <laughs> one more year of Weeblos and then he'll go into Boy Scouts. In two weeks they're going to Weeblos Woods, their summer encampment. So really excited about that. You know, I'm gonna use three of my cards. I'm just gonna that'll be the easiest way to do this. Hi Tony. <laughs> okay, there's no W. It's W E B L O. We blows S. W E B L O S. That is how you spell we blows. All right, what did I do with those cards? So I want another one. I hid them. Well, I'll steal one out of these. Oh, how awesome. My son is working on, he'll get his arrow of light next spring, I think. He's working really hard at it, and he's doing a great job. He should be getting, <laughs> he should be getting um, his disability awareness badge. He spoke at city council last Monday night, introduced me which was really, really awesome. And that it was such a cool experience and feeling to see my kid be able to do that, speak in front of all those people. And that he did such a great job. Hi, Martha. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm very proud of him for the things that he's accomplishing. He's playing soccer with the Girls and Boys Club. And we're just having a grand old time. We really, really are. So. I'm very excited about it. All right. So I'm just taking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, my kid's going to um, Cub Country, which is our our Cub Scout camp for uh, one of the weekends this summer with his dad. So I'm really excited about that. All right, so I've just added the card onto the fin. And I've left the sides open so we could put a tag in there. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so. And Christine, you decided to stream tomorrow night, right?
Okay, so there's two of our pages. Awesome. Christine's going to be on tomorrow night at 7 her time, ladies. Don't know. Um, which is like 4 o'clock, 7. I think it's 4 o'clock my time, 5. Uh, well, you know what? I don't have it. We've had, like, the weirdest weather ever, Martha. The weirdest weather. All right, guys. So here is the inside of our book. Pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> <laughs> Aww. It's just been icky. I, you know. All right. So the way this goes together is you put the four inch side on one side, and it should just slip in there. And then if you bend it back, this piece slips in. Oh, well, it's this side goes in this side. And voila, your book is made. Okay, so it lays down flat. Each of the pages lay down flat. And it's a cute little book. Okay. I'm not doing it again. Any questions on getting our book to this point? Because the rest of it is just decorating, guys. You know, we can get snow until June here. So, you know what? And some of you people have been sweating to death for a month, Tony. And I'm freezing to death. However, I do have sandals on today. But my toes are cold. All right, guys. So, are you ready to embellish this puppy? Yeah. So the cool part is, is now we're just going to kind of embellish. Who's? Oh, Christine's. It's Christine's creative craft room tomorrow night. And I'm just putting this one back together so you guys can see. Pretty sturdy, nice little brag book. Again, these pages don't have a pocket or anything. We've got pockets for tags and stuff in this new one. Okay? Probably, yeah, you could have gotten another page in. So... And that, but then you kind of are looking at, you know, it's just supposed to be a little cute brag book. So, and I think we'll do it the same orientation. We'll have our book kind of flip this way. So our tags can come out of either side if we want to do that. So, all right. So we're going to pick some of this cute paper. And I think I would like my cover... I have these pages again. And I think I want my cover to be the plaid. I really like this plaid. So I think I want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take and I'm going to mat my plaid. Yeah, there would be. You just have to kind of play with it a little bit. Christine, I just got your text and I'm here. Yay. Did somebody tell Kristen that I'm on? She just posted on my Facebook. All right, do I want it to be lime green too? Let's see. No, I want it to be the blue. Well, and you know what? My thing is black, so the blue is not really going to show. Well, yeah, I guess it would. All right, so we're going to cut our pieces in blue first with this outdoor denim. And we are going to cut a piece for our front and back cover of this outdoor denim at six inches by four and a quarter so six inches we're going to cut this piece in half it's outdoor denim we're cutting it six inches and then we're going to cut it four and a quarter and four and a quarter and then we're going to use our plaid piece here and we are going to cut at five and three quarters inches by four inches. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mat up the pieces and everything. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just tape these down. So our front and back covers. Now, before we adhere these front and back covers, you would need to decide if you want to put a ribbon closure on it, like I did on this one, and that where basically you just kind of tie it in a knot and let it be, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but, um, yeah, <laughs> the cover's easy. I'll do it. I'll probably end up doing another one because it's really quick. And that it really is easy. Oh, yeah, I guess it is the same time tomorrow as Jim's show. I don't think I'm going to do a, a uh, I'm going to leave mine as a brag book that just flips. And I, I'm not going to put a ribbon on it. And you know what? I'm not going to attach my front cover yet because I might want to put some embellishments or something that will need to go through the piece so we know that this is the front I'm not going to put anything on the back that I'm going to have to go through I may just put my little stamp of approval on the back so I'm just hiding my piece here okay so we know that this is the front cover we're not going to attach it yet because we have no embellishments here's our back cover okay so then we need the matting for these insides as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to run your adhesive around the corner. And that instead of um, adhering this down, because we want this to move so that it lays flat for you. Okay. And we can do that as a regular piece of cardstock, 
or we can just use the pattern paper to cover. And I think I want to use, um, I think I want to use the gears here for my inside cover. And so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to do the six inches by, what was this one? Four and a quarter. Yeah. Six inches by four and a quarter. And another one for the back cover. And this is how you make your pattern paper go further. You know what, I'm gonna stick just one little piece of that adhesive just so I don't lose this piece here. So we're just gonna stick that in there, that way it pulls right off. Okay. This piece we're just gonna fit right into the edges here. Actually, I'm going to take just a little sliver off of this because that way it'll meet up with the pocket piece and will give us that edge all the way around. All right. So I'm doing three sides of this. three sides only, and then I'm also going to come right along the edge of the envelope where the envelope would have been sealed. So you can still see, you can kind of get in there with your fingers and that it's not, it's not sealed, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to line this blue in the corners to kind of give it a nice little edge there. And we're gonna press down. And if I was good, we're, we're good to go. See, we can still move this piece in and out. See that move still? So, okay. Again, we're gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay, so we're going to do three sides. That's one, the bottom, and the other side. And then we're going to go along the edge of our envelope here. Okay, and then we're going to center this piece oh we forgot to take our little sliver off need to take a sliver off there we go I don't see her but that doesn't mean she didn't okay so then what we're going to do again is we're going to center around here. This should all match up, be really nice, give it a good smush, and then this moves in and out again. Okay, so now we have a front cover that isn't really stuck. We have the front page with the pocket that lets that move. We have the back page with the pocket that lets that move. Okay. And then I want to put um, the gear paper on this top piece, and I'm going to put it on the back piece here for the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a four inch piece here. And 
and two five and three quarters. And these go right on those pages. Just to give it a cute little mat. We're going to stick photos on them and stuff too, so we're good. So, <laughs> all right, so now we have our front pages. So now we have these pieces to decorate and to at least mat up. And then what I did with some of these is I really just kind of decorated the pieces with a strip across and a strip down and then I did a photo spot and that so let's kind of be a little creative and we'll kind of put those pieces in there I also have some cute tags let's see if I can find my bucket that has them mm, maybe I'm going to want bigger tags yeah, I think I'm going to want the bigger ones than these. So I think I'm going to pull my Tim Holtz tags out. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. What do I got here? I can't be down. Oh, you know what I have, girls? Oh, no, but that won't work. That's not nice. Okay, well, I was, I was going to tell you I have Prima ones. <laughs> but that won't work. So I guess we will use these black tags, or we will at least make our own using them or something. I don't know. I think these are the right size to go in here. Yeah. You know, it might be fun to do two tags in each. It's a two by two square. It's like an inchy only in two by twos. Well, that's kind of cute. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're too big. I don't know. What do you guys think? They kind of hang over the edge. I don't get to go to Mexico and I'm freezing. And I want the sun. Mm. 
<laughs> All right. So do you think these on the sides are not too much? We could always cut them down a little bit. Okay. I know I'm talking to myself. No, you are literally. No, me and um, thirty-two of my best friends. So, all right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we'll do with those. We'll see if we use them or not. But we at least know we have them. No sides are cool. No sides are cool. What does that mean? The sides of it are cool if they hang out. All right, cut them down and add some hemp or something, okay? We'll get there when we get there. We'll find something. All right, you know, I want to find, let's see, do I have a stripe? No. I'm going to take these full sheets out of here before I use up. All right. Those we're going to stash away for another project. The rest of us I could do. How big is your luggage? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I like them hanging out. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. All right. How about... What is that? Four inches. So we're going to cut this down to two inches. We're going to go across the top with it here. And then we are going to make this, let's see, this is a three and a half, I'm going to make a three and a half by three inch photo spot. Okay. And, you know, I'm going to use this green. And let's see, what size should this be? About four inches. So, again... <laughs> So I cut this piece at one and a half. So one and a half by four. And I like to go through and get all of my base pages and stuff done before I go back and embellish. You guys know that. So we're gonna put that piece there. Ooh, oh, you know what? We're going to put this, we're not going to use the green side. We're going to use the whole skeleton gnarly side. Get those skeletons, guys. <laughs> well, you are going on vacation with your husband, so you don't necessarily need the 90 or two. Underwear, though, you have to take. All right. And then we're going to put our photo mat here on this side. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, so there's the first page. Just kind of pet it together, no extra anything. All right. Mm, I'm going to do a four by three and a half inch piece here. of this green. And it's got the nice splatter of white. I'm just going to center that in. I am going to um, give it a edge here. Ooh, maybe that'll be cool. And then this photo mat is going to go here. Basically, here's page two. All right, and with the next piece, I'm going to do, um, let's see, oh yeah. I'm going to cut this down to five and a half. So it is by four by five and a half. Look, it says skinned knee. Skinned knee. got to be a little shorter. Yeah, well, of course, it's a close to my heart pack. So of course, all of the things go together. All right. I'm going to cut this one down to one inch. Need another piece here. So my photo mats are three and a half by three. I'm going to want that smaller. I'm going to make that a half an inch. I'm going to center this here. Then I'm going to put 
tape on half just so I can get a photo under there. Okay, so there's that cute page. This is going to gather really fast, guys. What do you think? This says, awesome, play hard, boys roll rowdy and hang out. All right, so we decided those should be three and three quarters. by five and three quarters. Right? Nope, they should be five and a half. By five and a half. And I'm going to like those like that. Actually, half of five and a half is what? Two and three quarters. And then one and seven eighths. No, I'm still moving. Okay, I'm a little crooked on this page.
And I think Two more pages. These are the same, just kind of added. And then we have this last page here. Wow. I was eating dinner before the show and explaining autism to the girls. All right, guys, so here are our pages pretty much with photo mats. So I want to go ahead and put a photo here on the front. And I'm going to make that a square. I have some cute stamps. You know, right now, the only deal is you get the next four stamp sets for free, plus the freebie that's going on right now, which is with a $35 order, you can order an exclusive um, an exclusive paper pack for 10 bucks. It would, and that's what it is. It's kind of a brag book, and it's a little easy one, so you don't need a whole lot of embellishment. Um, but you definitely want something. So, and I didn't get the stickers with this pack, but that doesn't mean I don't have a ton of stuff that I could already use. 
So I have these little pieces and that I think what I want to do is I want to stamp this guy. But I gotta find a block that fits him first. Here we go. And I wanna cut him out, I think. Okay, so now he's all non sticky. I'm going to cut this down in half. And grab a piece. Of, ooh, sorry guys, didn't mean to move you. Grab a piece of scratch paper here. Quest for outdoor denim begins. Let's see. Clear. Nope. Outdoor denim. Oh, look, he's cool. Um, it's a Logitech 920. And it zooms in, zooms out. It does all kinds of things. I can flip it. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. My husband is actually going to mount it to the ceiling, guys, and so you'll get a chance to look down at my head, which I'm really, I, I really am kind of excited about the idea of it being up on the ceiling so that it kind of looks down on top of, and then I can flip the camera up so you guys will see what I see, which will be really nice. Squishy, squishy, squishy. The squishies really make a difference with a solid stamp, guys. You definitely should use them. Now that my basement has got a sitting area, some of the people in my house are not real happy because the DVR and stuff moved downstairs. However, they'll live. All right, now the trick is to find my fussy cutting scissors. Oh, I've got some stud pieces. Let's see. Fussy cutting scissors, where did you go? Mm. I have no idea. 
I was cleaning, I was doing, I was trying. Everything was a humongo mess. Everything still is kind of messy. And I have these Tim Holtz scissors, but they are not what I want to fussy cut with. Nobody better run off with my fussy cut and scissors. I'll have to. Oh, ha! Found him! Stuck in a corner. Uh, yeah. That's what I call it. All right. <coughs> it's a skateboard stamp. And it's the stamp set that comes in the later skater. Hmm. No, it's a skateboarder, dude.
Hmm. All right. And I think I'm going to see if I can find my, yeah. <clears throat> my corner here. And once I get a photo, I'll actually tag that other side of this one down. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pop him up. Let's see where the rest of my collection of foam things are. So this is going to be my front cover, and I will find a cute picture of my kid riding a scooter, probably. So there's the cover. All right. You know, let me see if I can find some photos. I'm sure I have some. I have to make a big scrapbook, a baby scrapbook. I bought some cute paper. We'll see what we come up with. You know? imaginary friend. <laughs> I know that's what you guys think. Still playing with my imaginary friend. <laughs> Some of them think they're real. So, I know, we're just boring. Boring, boring that. people. We're just boring, boring people. And hello. So. Yep, Target Pharmacy. I'm using my white Daisy ink, guys.
which I absolutely, absolutely love. And you can get this on my website. It is so cool. You guys are going to love it. Stamps beautifully. I really like that. Let's stamp a few other things here. Mm, we've got that little embellishment. Oh, you know what? We have those cool... Here we go. How about we use one of these guys here? I did not. I, sh I was sure that all of you knew by now. I thought you guys had learned. <laughs> All right. Put the little skeleton guy up there and the word gnarly. And you guys can see how thick those are. They're about as thick as my fingernail. <laughs> All right. Cool beans. Stick those back in there for a minute. <clears throat> oh, let's see. What is Lagoon? <clears throat> this is Lagoon Ink. Oh. I'm going to make some shoes out of it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make some shoes, and I'm going to put around the edges. I'm going to make it cool shoes. <laughs> well, I'll let you guys take care of that right in the chat. You can talk about that it's not a button. <laughs> I love my fingernails.
gonna fussy cut some feet. All right. All right.
All right. So I made a cute little embellishment, a little sign. Um, I got them done here in Spokane at a little shop around the corner nearest my house. Is that you, Lois? Did you change your name? Hmm. You know, I I would if I had a small enough puzzle piece. But my puzzle piece, the smallest puzzle piece stamp I have is this one right here. And it is too big. See? Too big. Even on the biggest finger. But they're blue. At least for autism awareness. They're blue. Nah. Although I did do that on one of the girls, the girls upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Suave Nails over by Safeway on Market. Skeletons, Lois. Skeletons. All right. So I like the No Fear. I like this little page here. Now we're at this page. Probably. I had been there a while.
Yeah, we do. Yes, I probably will for a little while anyway. Right now, they're um, right now my uh, my real nails are really this long, so it's just kind of an overlay over the top of them. They just look so they look so much different because the way that they did the um, that they did the uh the coloring piece, the tip piece, they look really long, but they're not. They're really super short. A mess. I'm making a mess. No, it's not. Although on my website, the Halloween stuff from last year, the paper, the stickers, the embellishments and stuff are all on sale. Like $8 for the paperback. Or no, $4 for the paperback. Anyway, there's a lot of Halloween stuff on my website. That is cheap-o right now. Okay, why would you give us a shoe that only has one shoe? Because really, you cannot, it's the same shoe. It looks funny. You can't just use one shoe. People don't have one foot. Okay, most people don't have one foot. I guess if they didn't make them tilt one way, they'd look like clown shoes. So, you know, I guess. I guess we could live.
Did you guys who bought the camera kits, did you make the camera? Okay, now I'm really yelling. Did you make the camera? Night. I know you're just ditching us to go hang out in your favorite hangout spot. Michael's parking lot. Back alley. We know your plan. Oh, good. Alright, I think I kind of like that. I have a spaceship and a star. I'm dying to use this stamp set to make some really cool background paper. Lois, you have to go down to Sweet Frostings down on Washington and First and buy an autism cookie. They're beautiful. They're pricey. 
but they're so pretty. They benefit the ASW crowd. Yep. Is that a dumb question? Silly, silly Lois. Then again, Lois has known me longer than all of you guys. And she knows I make all of my own stuff. <laughs> I see stuff and I make it. So yesterday would have been my dad's birthday, and my son decided to sing happy birthday. Yeah. And um, he basically said, well, if Grandpa went to heaven and was all fixed, then he can come back, right? It was a very cute sentiment. Oh, it's easy. It's recorded, Lois. Anyway, I think I already made... I think you made one of these with me before. This one? So, I like the idea of the brag book. Yeah, he's so literal in so many ways. I think the biggest thing was the compliments that came from the teachers and stuff. And he got a pride award last um, last Friday for empathy. I just, I had to laugh. Just had to laugh. Yes, he is happy that Hannah's on his soccer team. Although I have to go find some soccer socks. I got to do that tomorrow. We did find cleats and shoe and guards and everything. Are you lagged that far behind with the cookies? They're pricey. They're five bucks. But two of that goes to the Autism Society. So...
Uh oh. Lost my window. What happened? There you go. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you would have taken it. It would have been in girl colors, though. The one-footed person is on these pages. Yeah. Well, our group does some really amazing things, so I'm pretty proud of them. So. All right. This spaceship does not go with the set. It's going to get stuck in with these gears. Nobody will ever see it. I just think it was like a, I don't know. Although I should have about a year's worth of projects on my thing. <laughs> oh, you guys, we have tags, too. I don't know that I'm going to do the tags. I think I'm just going to float photos in them. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to find some photos to put in it, though. So, 8 o'clock in two hours' time, I have a mini album from start to finish that is embellished, ready for um, pictures. So... Well, I'm all done, so if you guys want to check out the finished product, just wait for a minute, and I will flip through the whole book for you. You can get all of these products on my website, um, my Close to My Heart website, which is jerryannarmstrong.ctmh.com, and um, pictures of this project will be up on my blog, which is, um, what is my blog? Scrap and stamp creations.blogspot.com. So here's the finished book. Very cute. All made out of envelopes and three cards. So the front page. No fear. And then we have this page with the little gnarly stickers. Next page we have Rowdy Awesome Play Hard. We have I Do My Own Stunts. 
Um, we have the warning signs and then the little gears and stuff and then the last page so cute little book it's really nice it'll sit up nice so it can kind of sit out if you want it to but the best part about it is when you flip through it it lays flat so we did a flat one this way how about for those of you who are still around yeah for those of you who are not ready to leave just yet I will make another one because I do want to make one that goes this way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. For those of you who are watching the recording, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I will touch base with you all soon. Again, you can find me at scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com. Good night.